Assalamu alaikum, my name is Sara Saleh, I'm the Vice Head of Academic Aid and today I'm going to walk you through the Notion templates that we've made for GIT 113 and MSI 361. They're basically identical to each other in terms of the layout, so whatever I do explain on the GIT template will be pretty much identical to the MSI. Obviously the main difference is that the schedule and the notes sections are basically more customized to the blog that you're in and the links will be more customized to the links that we think you'll find more helpful in third year and in first year. So let's get started. The whole point of using Notion is that it's this all-in-one workspace where you can have your notes, your schedule, calendar, files, um, pretty much a bunch of things all in one place just so that everything is more organized and it helps you kind of keep track of everything. Now, Notion is free if you sign up with your Al Faisal email account and it's also fully customizable so whatever you have in this template can be completely changed. So if you want, you can change the cover right here. There's a gallery in Notion itself that you can go through or upload a specific image you want or they even have like a specific database that you can search for a picture and put it right here. All right. Here you can change the icon, add an image or whatever, and you can also change the title of the page. All right. Um, if you click on these three dots, you'll be able to change the font. There are only three types of fonts, but yeah. And you can also change the width of the page according to whatever you want. Alright, so if you're going to get started with this template, um, first of all, if you want a beginner's guide, you can check out this video right here. Alright, so let's get started. So the page is divided into four sections. You have a place for your notes, schedule, quick links, and a to-do list with a calendar. I'll start off first with the schedule. Um, as you can see here, we've basically written down all the lectures that you've take, you're going to take in these next few weeks and the subject they are in. You can absolutely customize this, so if you click on these three dots, you can change it to whatever you want. Um, right here, you can change the color and everything. So yeah, you can even change the properties. So if you want, for example, multi-select, if you want to select multiple things at the same time, you can do so as well. Uh, the current property it's on is select, so you can only select one thing. You can change the same thing for a uh, subject, you can even delete it if you want. Now, this um, column is basically to show if you've attended or not, and that helps you keep track of how much you're missing and whether you studied the lecture or not, all right? And if you studied the lecture, what's your level of understanding? Did you get it? Was it okay? Or was it absolutely a mess? So this helps you keep track of the things that you're struggling with so that when you go back to reviewing it, you can focus on the things that you don't know more than the things that you do know. Um, if you do practice questions, you can use this checkbox right here. Another thing I also do sometimes is I can even change it to a text and say, for example, um, you can do yes, yes, whatever. But also you can say specifically what is the practice questions that you use. So did you use Amboss? Did you use Robbins? Whatever. All right. Um, but that's just personal. It's not really a big deal. But if you want to be more specific and what are the practice questions that you used. Okay. Let's take it back to the checkbox. Okay. If you're an Anki user, whether it's you make your own cards or you use the Academic Aids Anki team al Faisal Master Deck, you can also keep track of what are the lectures that you have done and what I haven't done. And the last column is basically the last pass over lecture. Um, this is basically to help you keep track of when was the last time you reviewed a specific topic. So let's say basic concepts one, the last time I studied it, let's say, is on today. All right. Um, you can even include a time if you want. It's not really a big deal. And you can change the format of the date itself. So whether you want it as a month, day, year thing, or even want it as a relative, and this is what I recommend. So it shows that today was the last time I studied this lecture. Um, this just basically keeps track of how long it's been and how long you want to kind of review the topic again. You can also add a column. Maybe you want to add the a file to this. Like a, If you want to add this, the presentation itself to this, you can even add it here. Just choose a file and put it right there. Um, if you click on the arrow, it's going to open the schedule as a full page for you. Yeah, that's basically it. Um, another nice thing about it is that you can filter through it. So let's say you only want to know the lectures that are in week three. If you click on filter and add a filter, you can click on week and choose week three. And it's only going to show you the things that you've taken in week three. You can also do the, thing for, the same thing for subjects, maybe histology. And if you want, you can even see the things that you've studied or you have studied and the things you haven't studied yet. All right. Um, if you don't want the filter anymore, you can just remove it. That's basically it. You can also change this as well um, to whatever you want. 
You can even move around lectures. If they do change the schedule, you can shift it around. And that's about it for the schedule. Next, we have the quick links page. Um, basically, if you click on it, you're going to find access to the Al Faisal Anki Master Deck mock exams that we're making in the student guides. Now, here it's showing year one, but obviously in the MSI template, you're going to see it for year three for everything. Um, so, do check it out if you need to. So, there's also the batch links um, specific to the year that you're in that we think is helpful for you, and also resources. Um, here, there's just general resources that were collected by the presidential office, Maryam and Yaman. Um, and they're very helpful, so I do recommend them. And also YouTube channels. So as you can see here, we have specific YouTube channels we recommend for GIT. And if you click on MSI template, you're going to find specific YouTube channels that are helpful for MSI that we've found. And also websites. All right. The last thing is productivity. There's just a Pomodoro timer here and just a few websites we think is helpful for you if you want to check it out. Cool. So the next thing is the to-do list and the calendar. Um, it's two in one thing, so if you click here, it's going to be a list, and if you click here, it's going to be a calendar. But they're basically the same thing, as you can see. Anything that's in the calendar is in the list, and anything that's in the list is in the calendar. So let's say I want to add something here. I'll say that I have a meeting on the 15th. You can include a time. Let's say it's at 2 p.m. We have a meeting. You can even add an icon if you really want to be extra. All right, and the priority is that it could wait, it's not really that important. You'll find it here, and when you click on the list, it's also going to show up here. Now the nice thing about this thing as well is that anything important is going to show up first, and anything less important is going to show up next, all right? So let's say you have another thing, um, I don't know, let's just put ABC. You have another thing that's due on Thursday. The priority is not a priority at all. If you click it, it's going to be under the could wait. So this is the level of priority that's basically uh, divided into and also it's sorted through the date as ascending so the nearest thing is going to be first and the later things are going to come later um, according to how important it is all right and that's basically it you can also click on the uh, arrow and it'll take it as a full page as well all right so the last thing i'm going to talk about is the notes section and it's pretty simple and straightforward so click on the subject that you want these are known as toggles the arrowhead so just click on them and then you're going to be able to write on the pages itself. You can even add a table if you want. Um, you can even make a page within a page. So if you want forward slash page, and it's going to take you to a page. And yeah, that's basically it. Now let's go back to the notes. I'm not going to go too much into details on the different features here because it is explained in the basic video uh, that we did link. Uh, in the email and as well on the Notion page, so you can check that out if you want more details. That's basically it. You can also open the whole note section as a page itself and of course customize the, the cover, the icon, and of course the font and the width of the page. But yeah, that's about it for the notes section. So I have a tip for second and third years if you're watching. Um, basically Notion is amazing to make pharma tables, so here if you can see, I've added a sample table but this is how you do it you do a forward slash and type in table and inline um, let's open this as a page and you can just edit it, the table as you want so here I have a sample from one of the tables I made for CVP um, you can add the class a description of the mechanism of action pharmacokinetics clinical use adverse effects and even like pictures from the uh, lecture as well and this kind of just helps out keep everything more organized um, you can even filter through it so let's say you only want to study or you want to specifically look at the glucocorticoids, like this specific class. You can go ahead and just filter through it. And obviously you can always remove a filter if you don't want it. And yeah, that's basically it. Um, I highly recommend Notion to making tables for pharma. But yeah, if you ha guys have any recommendations for the Notion templates that we're making, please let us know at academicaid at lfsledu. Please email us. We're more than willing to hear your feedback and your comments. Um, if you need any help, we're also willing to help out. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, I hope you guys have a nice day and take care.